What's going on guys? Welcome back to another shoe custom video. Today I'm going to be doing an In-N-Out themed Air Force One custom. If you don't know what In-N-Out is, it's literally the best fast food restaurant on the entire planet. If you ever get the chance to go out to California, I highly recommend that you try it out. For me, California is my favorite place to be. For the past few years, I've been spending my summers in a place called Marino Valley, which is in Southern California. If any of you guys live around that area, let me know. But since I love California so much, I figured I'd do an In-N-Out themed custom. And of course, I'm doing it on a pair of Air Force One since that's all I ever do. But these are a men's size 12, so if you want to buy them, you can message me on Instagram at Secret Sniper Customs. I plan on doing another in and out themed custom on some Jordan 1s in the future, but I want to get better at painting first. But I've got a cool design planned for these, and I can't wait to see how they come out. So let's get started with the video. First, I'm going to remove the laces so I don't get paint on them. I used Photoshop to plan out my design ahead of time, which I highly recommend doing so you can visualize the final product. But this is the design that I came up with. Using an X-Acto knife, I'm going to remove the leather swoosh from the shoe so I'll have a flat surface to paint on. Be careful not to cut up the leather underneath when you do this because that'll damage the shoe. When you get the swoosh off, you'll have to pull out all the threads which can be a pain because they don't all come out easily. But once you do get them all out, you'll end up with something like this. Using some acetone, I'm going to remove the glue that was underneath the swoosh and the acetone will also prep the leather for paint. Kinda hard to see, but I have my arrow stencil on a small piece of vinyl. I'm gonna remove the outline of the arrow because I don't need it. Now I'm gonna cut a piece of transfer paper the same size as the stencil so I can transfer it onto the shoe. I'm also gonna remove the inside of the arrow, but I'll need it later so I'm gonna set it to the side for now. Using the transfer paper, I'm gonna overlay it onto the vinyl and apply pressure all around to make sure it sticks. Once it's on good, the back of the vinyl should peel right off. Now I can go ahead and place the stencil on the shoe. Once it's positioned correctly, applying pressure should secure it in place. Make sure to peel the transfer paper off slowly so it doesn't rip. I'm going to be using a lot of stencils for this custom, which is why I explained that process in such detail, but I'm not going to do that for the rest of the video. Before putting down any paint, it's a good idea to apply heat and pressure around the edges to ensure that no paint will leak. For the inside of the logo, I'm using some yellow Angelus leather paint. It takes about two to three coats to get a good solid color. If you want to buy Angelus paints, I'll leave their website in the description. Now I'm going to put the arrow stencil from earlier onto the shoe so I can paint the red outline. For the red, I'm using some Angelus Fire Red, and it's really important not to cake on the paint, especially when you're doing a small area like this, so make sure to do thin coats. Now we can remove the tape and the stencils and hopefully everything held up. For the side panel, I'm doing the In-N-Out Palm Trees. I did another one of these on the other side, but I'm only showing myself do one of them. When I get my website up, I'm going to start selling custom stencils, so if you want to do this at home, you can. Now for the toe cap, I'm doing the entire in and out logo, and since some of the letters are white, I'm going to use the stencils to mask off those areas so I don't have to paint them.
Before I paint the yellow portion of the logo, I have to put down some white paint. Otherwise, the yellow is going to show up as more of an orange color. The last thing for this custom is adding the words in and out to the back of the shoe using another stencil. I was originally thinking of painting the back red, but I decided to just leave it white. Now the painting is done, so the last step is spraying the shoes with some matte finish and then lacing them up. If you guys enjoyed this custom, consider subscribing. I'm almost to 6k subs and I've got a ton of stuff planned for the future. That's going to wrap it up for this video, so I'll see you guys next week.